Hello and welcome. Next on the list of camo grinding is assault rifles and we have six to complete. So in this video, I'll be breaking down everything you need to know about all six step by step. Feel free to skip around as much as you like and to the parts that you require. Just make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more guys like this in the future. Let's jump straight into it. So the first step is unlocking all the ARs and we have four that are done through just general level progression. We then have the two burst ARs that need to be unlocked via the armory. And if you need any assistance with this, then make sure you check out this video here that's left in the description below. Once unlocked, you can start to level up. And when it comes to ARs, I'm going to recommend three different game modes. The first is the most reliable, and this is of course kill confirmed. It doesn't matter if you're having a good or bad game, as long as you're focused on collecting them tags and throwing decoys, you're going to leave with a good amount of XP. The second game mode I'm going to recommend is War, and this has by far the highest XP potential. With the enemies constantly running to the objective, you can pick up a lot of kills, especially if the little skill-based matchmaking is on your side. However, in reverse, if skill-based matchmaking isn't on your side, you can become spawn-trapped and this is a complete waste of time. The third and final method is Zombies, and this is by far the easiest. If you're looking to avoid skill-based matchmaking, then this is the option for you. Just be warned that it does get repetitive very quickly, and the servers are becoming very glitchy with people exploiting a sentry glitch. If you need any help with any of these methods, then make sure to check out this video here, which will also be left in the description. Next up, we have 24 different camos that will be unlocked across four basic challenges. These are the same for all six assault rifles, and to be honest, they are a little bit too easy. For game modes, I'd recommend either War or Hardpoint, as these are both faster based objective game modes that allow for more kills. Starting with 50 kills and 50 ADS kills, which will likely be completed while leveling up, unless you pick zombies of course. The third challenge is 15 headshots, and for the headshot challenges I always recommend using a red dot sight. I find it a lot easier to be more precise with a red dot than I would do an iron sight or a magnified optic. The final challenge is to get 25 kills while in a tactical stance and to do this you need to aim down sight and then press down on the d-pad. If you find yourself struggling you can jump into hardcore but I'd recommend first going into your interaction settings and scroll down until you see crosshairs. Click show more and then turn that center dot on as this is going to allow you to see where you're aiming. Having the right class can really make a difference so I've made six that you can copy. These are mainly based on tax spread, so you will lose some movement speed, for example. And you also may notice that there are three main attachments, being the muzzle, laser, and the underbarrel. Gold, or gilded, as it's known in MW3, requires you to get three kills with one magazine. Two options for you here. The first is to use the biggest mag possible, and that way you won't run out of bullets before getting that third kill. The second is hardcore, where very few bullets are needed, therefore a bigger mag isn't required. Either method is effective, so pick the one that's best suited for you. And if I'm being honest, the hardest part of this challenge is just trying to force yourself not to reload after every kill. The final challenge is for forged, and this is actually different for each assault rifle. To start, we need 25 multi kills for the SVA, and before you panic, this isn't as hard as you think. You only need to get two kills in quick succession, and not the four that I first feared. We are basically talking 25 double kills, which in hardpoint or war isn't exactly the most difficult. For the MTZ, we need 10 kills while moving in tax stance. Considering you've just done 25 of these, I don't think 10 is going to be much trouble. Just make sure you're moving as you aim and this will be a complete breeze. Believe it or not, the Holger is even easier with 25 kills while using an underbarrel. I honestly don't even know what to say, you literally just need to put an underbarrel on. MCW up next, and it's like we never left MW2. Three kills without dying 10 times is required, and this is no different to the gold challenge, except you're allowed to reload. Clearly, not much effort is being put into these challenges. The DG58 requires you to get 10 kills while ADS and strafing. This basically requires you to aim in and walk sideways while firing. Again, as long as you're moving, this is going to count towards the challenge. Finally, we have the FR 5.56 and 21 burst kills are required. For this, I jumped into Hardcore Hardpoint where I was guaranteed to get 1 burst kills. 
This can be done in normal if you prefer, but the damage seemed inconsistent, so it was just safer to switch to hardcore. Lastly, I want to show you the best classes for each assault rifle that you can use to level up with or just get more kills in lobbies. My builds are often mainly designed around recall and mind, but I also try to keep some ADS and sprint to fire speed. Feel free to switch any attachment so it suits you better. For example, if you want to stay completely off the radar, you can switch the muzzle to a silencer. These builds have been tested in my lobbies, which are always legit with skill based matchmaking and never with VPNs or reverse boosted. Thank you for watching. If this video has helped, don't forget to hit like. Subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you in the next one.